Show's Voice is a nonprofit organization. Um, it actually started as a 5K team. Uh, when I was in college, um, I decided that I wanted to bring memory to the loss of my mom. And my mom's name was Cheryl. I did a full investigation by going to Fort Worth PD. In the process of that investigation, I discovered that my mom was in a very abusive relationship with my father and ultimately he took her life in front of me and then killed himself. I also discovered that I was, um, I witnessed a lot of the abuse. I suffered a lot of medical issues and I decided how can I use this pain that I'm feeling and be able to touch other children who are in similar situations. One of the places my mom got resources was at the Women's Center in Tarrant County. And I reached out to them and said, okay, you know what, I'm going to volunteer with them. And I started a 5K, me and about five other good friends. And we went <laughs> and we did the 5K. And I said, okay, what more can I do? I started doing different things in the community. I started speaking. Other people have been asking me to share my story. And one day I just woke up and, and, and it was like God told me, you know, Cheryl's voice. And so I named the organization Show's Voice. And at that time, it was not even really an organization. It was just a name to go attached to what I was doing. And eventually, I was speaking at the University of Texas at Arlington, and a lady approached me and said, you need to be a nonprofit. I'm going to make that happen for you. And they made Show's Voice a nonprofit. What we do with Show's Voice is empower and encourage youth who have witnessed abuse and also, unfortunately, maybe even witnessed a murder-suicide or the murder of their parents. Also, we want to reach those families who are in situations who feel like they're staying in the relationship because of their children, or they don't feel like their children are gonna be affected. We get them information, let them know that their children are affected and how they can help them before it gets too late, before they repeat that cycle. Show's Voice is very big on breaking that cycle and connecting those families and those children with resources that are right here in Tarrant County. Um, it's very important that they know that there are help and resources out there for them. That's what you know I do. I provide workshops of awareness and encouragement. I provide speaking engagements anywhere, whether it's sharing my story or it's giving a one-on-one -on, -one on what domestic violence and teen dating violence is. It's very important to the community to be able to give that and provide those things to them. Growing up, um, I struggled a lot. Um, I, on the outside, most people saw me and I was always happy and I got best dressed and, you know, I was in the plays and in the doing talent shows and just all these great things. I was in student council um, and all I really I was doing is covering the pain that I was in. And I'll never forget Terry Crews did a speaking engagement and he talked about success is a warm place to hide. And that's exactly what I did with much of my life is hide in that success. Even when I got to college, I really didn't even talk about uh, the loss of my mom. And I didn't talk about the struggles that I was having and um, the fear that I had every time I, a guy wanted to talk to me or be in a dating relationship. I was always paranoid that something would happen to me. One, I want you to understand there are healthy boundaries in a relationship. It's okay to acknowledge the pain. It's okay to acknowledge that there's something different about you. And now let's get to work. Let's start talking about trauma counseling. Let's start talking about the issues. Stop running away from the issue because the reality is I learned the hard way that when you run from it, it's still gonna be right there when you turn around. So I had to take a moment and dig myself out of the hole that I dug myself in. And so for me, with Cheryl's voice I want other youth I want the families to be able to help them work on those things and know what resources out there I want people to know what's available to them and use those resources because it's important unfortunately due to the sins of my father I suffered from several surgeries I've had too many surgeries to even begin to count from the day I was born I had immediate surgery from the strain and the stress that my mother was under by the time I was six months my father um, he hit my mother and um, caused her to drop me and it broke my hip. Well, that hip injury caused a trickle effect of other injuries, brittle bones, not developing well, that childhood trauma. I have a permanent um, disability in my right arm. I was actually sitting on a bike when I was 12 and I fell and um, it immediately broke my arm. And because I have issues with my bones 
it did not heal properly and I've had multiple surgeries but most people don't even know that I have I can't straighten or be in my right arm my last surgery the doctor he wasn't even sure I was gonna be able to write because I'm right-handed but I was determined to overcome that um, I write with my right hand I still do pretty much the things I want to do that the trauma especially being in the vehicle when my father committed this horrible thing I have a nerve issue in my in my in my brain and Unfortunately, there's nothing they really can do. I have random numbness and tingling on the right side of my face at times. The children, when they grow up to be adults, they don't really get it. They don't understand it. And they start repeating those cycles and trying to dig their way out and not sure how. And that is why I'm very passionate about sharing my story and very passionate about providing those resources and saying, hey, you can do this. I feel like if I don't do this, I'm letting my mom down for it. She fought really hard to save me. And I don't want these kids and adults that are probably still struggling with childhood stuff they haven't even dealt with. I want them to break those chains. I want them to break free from that. One of the things I'm very passionate about is talking with young girls and boys saying, hey, this is supposed to be your life. This is normal. If you are feeling abnormal with your body, you have to let your family know. You have to seek medical attention. Don't ignore the signs, especially if you've had childhood trauma because you can have some effects in your body that will um, affect you as an adult. When I started this journey with Cheryl's Voice, sharing my story. I would give out resources to um, the Women's Center, One Safe Place, Safe Haven. Um, I partner with Community Frontline, which are an amazing group of guys who does some amazing things in the community. I speak with this organization called The Net. I feel that if an organization is not collaborating with the other organizations around them and providing that um, those things and encouragement to each other and lifting each other up and saying we're in this for the victims, we're in this for our population, then they're in it for the wrong reasons. And Cheryl's voice, one, is my mom's name and I want to make her proud and I want to hold honor to her. And in doing that, I'm going to be respectful of all of the other colleagues, organizations that are around. I'm going to uplift them. I'm going to do whatever I can to help them be able to continue helping the population that's needed. Show's Voice is a nonprofit organization providing domestic violence awareness and teen dating violence awareness workshops and education. We want to encourage the youth and adults that you are not alone. There are tons of resources out here in Tarrant County and we can get you connected with them. I want to encourage you to turn your trauma into your victory and I encourage you to do